Hello fellow crafters, I uh, just thought I'd come on and do a quick video on um, doing some stuff that I, I thought I'd give it a try. I was watching Ann Melvin on uh, Positively Paper Crafting and she had been doing some laminating of napkins and I had purchased from Dollar Tree <clears throat> this plastic table cloth and um, also some uh, foiled uh, filler paper it's called. And I thought, I wonder if you could use those for uh, die cutting. Turned out that they're much too thin for die cutting. Um, but they do have a silver backing on both the uh, uh, tablecloth and the uh, gold and red uh, filler that I bought. So uh, what I did is I uh, took out some sheets of uh, 8.5 by 11 um, uh, laminating sheets. And let me just see if I can get these apart. It's time to find the end that's open. Yeah, this is the hardest part about the whole process. Anyways, once you get it open, you uh, lay your, uh, after you've cut it to size, uh, you lay in one of the um, sheets facing down. Put in two sheets of copy paper. And that's what keeps the, uh, that's what actually gets laminated to your laminating sheet. And then one other sheet of the tablecloth, or if you want to use something else, you can. And then all you do is, is you uh, run it through your laminator. And mine is uh, a Scotch brand, and I have it on 3 millimeter because this is quite thin. So we'll see how that goes. While that's going, I'll set up the uh, next set of papers. And find the end that's open. Oh, I think this is the end here. It's amazing how, how these things. Oh, there we go. So, again, I'm going to put in this time, I'm going to put the gold facing down. Try to get that crease out as much as I can. And then I'm going to put two sheets of copy paper in between. Try to straighten that out as much as I can underneath and put the red one facing up and again straightening it out as much as I can and then I'll send this one through the copy or the laminator and while that's going uh, if you have your paper trimmer you can trim it if you don't just trim along as close as you can to your um, uh, piece of foil inside. I'm going to be cutting these with a die cutter later, so it's not going to be as big a deal to uh, do that. So as you can see, once you um, have the papers cut, it away from this laminating sheet so I have basically two separate sheets this one the uh, inside layer just peeled apart peeled itself away because uh, I cut closely this one here I'm going to find the part where the laminating takes place here we are and you pull away the, the copy paper from the laminating sheet because it's not stuck. It's just the uh, sheet that's stuck. So now I have a piece that I can actually use uh, in die cutting because it's now thickened up with the laminating sheet. And so I actually have two sheets because I put them through together. Um, the red and the gold, it's the same idea. You're just going to, let's see if I can try to get it away from there. Just cut it across. And again, cutting it close to the gold laminating sheet. And down this side here. And up this side here and the copier paper will just fall away on this side and then I'll pull apart the other one. So that side's there and I just pull away that and if you wanted you could use the silver side 
or in this case the gold side and the same thing with the red side I'm going to cut back where the foil is because it's the thing that's stuck to the laminating sheet like I say you could use your paper trimmers but you pull off the uh, copy paper and you have a perfect sorry about the noise perfect sheet of um, the, the red foil and now it's uh, thick enough that you can actually use it in your, your die cutting and um, what I had said about <coughs> excuse me uh, the napkins these are a couple of other uh, examples I did the same thing these were two layer napkins I pulled the napkin part away the backing and ran it through my laminator and now I have two almost transparent you could um, use them uh, in different ways in your crafting so anyways I thought I'd share, share with what I learned today and uh, hopefully you'll give it a try thanks